more of that top four finish against the Manchester City side on this good run, but who haven't had an away win against Arsenal since 1975. Young players, and the experience they get this season, well, will it all pay off next time round? What will happen in the summer? Take over talk about Arsenal. Diaby. This is Fabregas showed good strength working with Ebue. But Demarcus Beasley getting back. But Arsenal have got it with Diaby again. He's much involved. Ebue took a deflection on that cross. And a goal from Rosinski. And it was a mistake in that Manchester City defence. They stood and watched him. And for the second game running, Tomas Rosinski scores for Arsenal. Well, there's a fabulous ball in from Abue. It gets a little deflection. The RB shows great determination, slides in, wins it off Beasley. But the ball from Abue, plenty of pace. But it's poor defending at the back post. And Nui's got to come and meet it. He waits. And as a result of that, Rosicki nips in in front of him and finishes quite clinically. was the first to react breaks on if they can develop it quickly Leb inside Rosicki says leave it to me he wants to orchestrate this attack Diaby nearly found him with his run it was certainly worth the try the idea was that Diaby's got a knock for his pains well if Diaby had succeeded in playing the pass that he was looking to play then Rosicki would have gone clear. Blow to the face, wasn't it, from the boot by the look of it? Inadvertent. He's been down there a while, Trevor, hasn't he, with this, uh, this knot? To be fair to Richard Dunn, he tried to hurl it over him, didn't he? But his uh, left boot caught him just above the eye there, and, uh, obviously inflicted a fair bit of damage. But he's started well, hasn't he? Well, to be fair, the whole 11 players in the Arsenal team have started well, with the exception of Lehman, of course, because he can't be included, because he, I don't think he's touched the ball yet. Having a bit of cool and composure, but he did it well in the end. It was excellent closing down, though, for Maddy Bayor. That's the difference, Ian. When you lose possession, you work to regain possession. And force the opposition to do a mistake. And that's what Maddy Bayor did, forcing Richard Dunn to get the ball back to Arsenal. Gilberto. Arsenal look to construct another elaborate attack. Fabregas, the movement's good there. And it's just about cut out. Richard Dunn. And the man he prevented from winning possession this ball is William Gallus, would you believe? I know he's got number 10 on his shirt, but he's not all of a sudden become a striker, is he? I think they are all strikers in this side. They all have a license to get in there. Here comes the corner kick. Goalkeeper came for that, but it was uh, deflected past him. The Army has been replaced by Don Julio Baptista. Julio Baptista, Toure, done with the header. Rosicki to Baptista. Here's Rosicki again, hurrying and scurrying, finding Clichy Baptista. challenge it's Baptista's first involvement in the game straight away draws the challenge from Dunn it's an illegal challenge looks like one for the beast this one it is Baptista it deflected the wall on its way through and will be a corner. Well, 
Well, it was off the head of Richard Dunn, wasn't it? Well, often at Highbury, they call it the library, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, the Highbury library. That was the uh, the slur, wasn't it? Wasn't always the case. Fabregas. Tries his luck. Isaacson got to it. And a new hat can complete the clearance. Well, that's what I've been wanting from Fabregas. He's 21, 22 yards from goal. He's got a good shot on him, and that ball moves about so much in the air. It's difficult for keepers. They are simply playing for fourth place, of course, now. That may be a disappointment to the Arsenal supporters with their three big rivals still hunting trophies. That was a miscue uh, by the goalkeeper that time. It's Johnson, and here's a chance for Beasley, who has equalised. Manchester City are level. Arsenal go to sleep, and from only about their second attack in the game, Manchester City have an equaliser from their American winger, Demarcus Beasley. And the German keeper, Lehmann, surely has to take much of the blame. It's a poor kick-out, but Johnson does well here. It's a poor challenge from Torre, he sells himself. The ball inside of Bue is an excellent one for Beasley. And he finishes quite coolly with his left foot past Lehmann. City the chance to launch another assault, they'll get a free kick for that. Pace here. They'll have to watch out for Richard Dunn and Sylvain Distan who come forward from the back here and are more than decent in the air. Unless the man has a go himself. He bends one, he does have a go himself. It was always too high. Barton. Almost invited to shoot, does, and Lehman didn't really deal too convincingly with that either. Well, he's got a crisis of confidence at the moment, Jans Lehman, still down after that error. He almost makes a second mistake here, Barton not closed down enough, tries to curl it in. Really, that should have been a routine catch for Lehman. He just wondered for a moment whether that was going to go straight through him. Lehman is suffering, and here comes the City corner. It's extraordinary what's gone on here over the last five minutes or so. It's come out to Sanji High. Johnson. Curl in towards the sun. It wasn't the worst ball in the world. That's half time. Now Manchester City start the second half with possible dreams of a first away win at Arsenal for 32 years. Would be some turnaround. He would encourage them to shoot a little bit more often around the edge of the box rather than trying to walk everything. His resources are a little stretched. Arm places forward to Beasley, who's looked quite bright down that left hand side. His confidence pretty high at the moment. Ball have made an overlapping run. Here he is. And was charged down by Colo Torre. Beasley, Johnson, Beasley again, good move, and Sanji High couldn't get a firm enough touch on it, but a good move by City. It was an excellent move, some great passing, lovely little one-two involving Johnson and Beasley again. It's really become a fascinating contest in the second half, hasn't it? First half, it wasn't a contest. A new her into Barton. It was a misplaced pass, so there's groans from this big crowd, and that's encouraging uh, Man City. <laughs> Always kept his dignity and very honest in all the interviews during that time of crisis. Stuart Pearce, it's all worked out for him. Now, the bio, this time they go direct. Isaacson kept it out. Leb, out of bio, lovely touch, Batista. Leb, oh, it's gone wide. Brilliant build up from Arsenal. Kleb comes inside ball. Only thing that was wrong was the shot wasn't on target. But what a ball this is from Fabregas. 
in behind Dunn. The goalkeeper hesitates, comes in, stays, but then makes a super save with his left leg to deny Adi Bayor. Oh, looks a bit close. Gallas in the nick of time with Barton pressuring him. Fabregas, lovely dummy from Adebayor. Rzyski in behind here. Adebayor! And it's a wonderful block by Distan. Otherwise, that might have been 2-1 Arsenal. Here's the dummy. Sets up Rosicki. Could he have bent it in with his right foot? Probably not. Waits for support. Adi Bayor tries to just roll it to the back of the net. Baptista. Adi Bayor. Is left. Chipped up and Adi Bayor. And Isaacson with a very fine save. Low. Well, it was unusual. 1 2 Adi Bayor to Flair, who plays it back. Adibayor continues his run, meets it perfectly with his head, tries to direct it into the corner, but Isaacson comes up with the answer. Rosicki. Fabregas! Oh, yes! What a sumptuous volley from the Spanish youngster. Absolutely top class. Brings it down, hits it on the volley from Cesc Fabregas. A goal arriving with 17 minutes to go. And the control in the finish is quite superb. Barton, and now then Beasley's in again here! And the flag is up, isn't it? The flag is up. It's not going to count. Well, it must have been tight. That, too, was a brilliant finish. Abui was found once and again on the inside. He got done similarly with a goal. And was he offside? The answer is yes. He just gets in behind Abui. But what about the finish? One-on-one, -on -one, just lifts it over. Lehman, brilliant finish. Unlucky for next year. On the side and still in play with Leb and then Baptista. Leb again. Fabregas shoots save the crowd. He elects not to. Leb, bewildering piece of footwork. And we won! Baptista is the scorer. Arsenal have the points now. Great run from Fleb in the build-up. Yep, but the beast is struck. It's a run from Fleb. He actually overruns the ball here, but he gets lucky. It comes inside ball. In between, Beasley tries to make the challenge. The ball runs loose to Baptista. He swivels on it from 12 yards. He tucks it nicely past Isaacson. It's only his second Premiership goal. This Julio Baptista. Another clumsily overran it. Samaras. Game's getting a bit stretched now. And Adebayo, Rosicki wants it in the middle. It's Adebayo, it's Rosicki, it's behind him. Wonderful opportunity, goes begging. Well, there's so much space on this right-hand side now. There's no right back. Adi Bayor gets into that position, plays it in just behind Rizitski. He does indeed get a standing ovation from all around the Emirates Stadium. Another goal tonight. And he's replaced by another player who's earning a few rave reviews. The Undoubtedly, the turning point in the game was the goal of Fabregas. Arsenal have got him. Thanks so much for that goal. He's the match winner for me. Six points out of six in two home games for Arsenal. It was a struggle in the middle part of the match, but maybe the turning point was the volley from Cesc Fabregas. An equaliser from Demarcus Beasley. But Fabregas's volley.